Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, it's, um, I just wanted to do a quick review on, not the Shoei, not that one. I've just brought it here just as a reference. This one, it's a KBC helmet. This fella is a VR1X helmet it is. I've had this fella now for about a week. Um, the paint style on this fella is actually 777. This is 777 down the back. Um, as you can see, it's even got the Australian standard sticker on the back. And up in the corner here, you've got air vents, you've got closed and open. You can actually flick the thing across so it's halfway. I don't think you can see just up here in front of my finger is actually the, um, the hole. And you can sort of flick the thing across and sort of sit about halfway. And you can flick the thing across to fully close. That's the same on both sides. Um, it's also got, I believe it's called a pin lock system to take the visor off. There's a, um, I don't know how well it's going to turn it, but just where my fingernail is, there's a small pin. And we just push this fella down on both sides. Hopefully that'll come out. You'll probably see me moving it there. You push this pin down on both sides and the visor will actually flip out. Um, the anti-fog system actually works quite well. It looks like it comes in through here and up in front of this, this shield. Um, it's also got a removable liner up on the inside as well. Um, I was a bit sceptical about this helmet because I picked it up delivered to my door for about around about the $200 mark. Um, I'm glad to say that this is a fantastic helmet. I've been riding my road bikes now for about 12 years. Actually no, 17 years I should say. And um, I've owned a number of helmets, be it Shoeys or Sumois. And um, this helmet just blows me away. I'm, I'm stunned with how how um, how comfortable it is and how quiet this helmet is. I just want to do a quick comparison against this is my old Shoei and old being the operative word, this fella's about 12 years old I think it is. Um, if we have a look inside the manufacturer's date you can probably see it down the back there. Um, it was actually manufactured um, back on the 8th month of the year 2000, about August 2000. This helmet actually um, I'm quite surprised, like this helmet, when you pick up the showy, all the weight seems to be around the back of the helmet, like it's very, very heavy at the back. And the KBC, it seems to be fairly evenly distributed. In fact, when I got the KBC, and I held both the, the showy and the KBC together, I honestly thought that the showy was heavier. Um, and I brought them bought the uh, bought the scales out and put them both on the scales and surprise surprise they're both exactly the same weight they're both 1.6 kilo it's just the way that the um that are actually the the like the weight is distributed across the helmet the kbc seems to be distributed much more evenly what the show is but mind you it's 12 years old i honestly don't know if you even buy these things anymore um i can't remember what price i paid for this filler it wasn't cheap it was Somewhere around about the five or six hundred dollar mark, but as everyone says, you know, how much money do you, you know, want to spend on a helmet? How, how expensive do you think your head is? Then you go and buy that sort of helmet. Um, but honestly, like I, I picked this fella up. I actually bought it from a, uh, an Australian lot called Team Moto from off uh, off eBay. And the reason I bought thing off Team Moto was because it, it actually says on their website. At uh, the eBay link that if you buy it off them and it doesn't fit, you have seven days to return it, which is quite normal for Australian law. There were um, there was another website. I think they were called uh, Helmet Warehouse or Discount Helmet Warehouse, something like that. They were located down in Sydney. You could have bought the same helmet for two hundred dollars spot on with free delivery, but if it didn't fit, then it said down the bottom, tough luck, they're not going to return it. Even though under Australian law, they're actually required to return the thing. Um, so, uh, Helmet Warehouse, I think that might have been called. I'll go hunting, and I'll put a link to the uh, to them in the in the section below. Um, so I won't be buying off them. I'll, um, I might prefer to buy my stuff off Team Moto because at least with Team Moto, um, that at least they'll actually um, conform to Australian law, and if it doesn't fit, just return it to them. But having said that, as I said, I've had this helmet now for just over a week, and I absolutely love this helmet. It's the VR1X. Um, 
I'm not sure if they're still even the current model, but if you can find one of these things, these things are fantastic. As I said, these things are... Uh, it's it's the lightest, oh, I wouldn't say the lightest, but the, the quietest and the most comfortable helmet I've ever worn. It, be it from a, um, a, a Sumoy or a Suomi or whatever it is you want to pronounce it. I think it's spelled S-U-O-M-Y. And, um, and in the shoe, I've had a number of Shoei or Shoei helmets, whatever it is. However it is you want to pronounce it, there it is there, S-H-O-E-I. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm stoked with the KBC helmet. Um, I need to get back in the routine of replacing my helmet's bed every four years. And my next helmet will definitely be a KBC. This helmet is just phenomenal. I love it. Um, very, very good helmet for the price. I'm, I'm stoked. So if you're looking for a helmet, don't go past the KBCs. Seriously, these things are great. Um, and they've got some pretty cool graphics and stuff in there too. And I don't know if you can see or not, they actually... Um, all around here is actually reflective, and all the um, all the paintwork is actually reflective as well. Um, it's got flicks of glitter and stuff in here, which will come in handy at night time, I suppose. Just a little bit of extra reflection to sort of make you stand there a little bit. Um, with all the cage drivers going around that love to drive around with their bloody thumb up their bum and their brain in neutral, and can't be bothered to look for motorcycle riders, and you know, every little bit helps, I suppose. So, yeah, if you want a helmet, KBC, I highly recommend it. This is the VR1X helmet, and I highly recommend it. Cheers.